night. Blankets of gray lie with tranquility over a graveyard. Dewdrops of life and death sprinkle the resting place. The immortals of this home begin to dance, gently landing on headstones, awakening the dead. Mortality erased from their hearts, ignorance is their bliss. Memories diminish, gather darkness is all they know. They are envious of the living with mouths full of teeth and warm skin covering. The chilling air seeps into bones as they peer out from desolate eye sockets. Exhausted silence drifts amongst loneliness. If they are no longer remembered by anyone living today, did they ever exist? Missed vanishing features, tattered burial cloths, misleading perceptions of being alive, they fade into the eternal night. Okay, who wants to go first? And I just wanted to comment with the, where it says mortality erased from their hearts, ignorance is their bliss. Because they don't know that they're dead, they're happy within it. So I don't know if that was really cool. That was nice to I really love this. It's great. Um, I love the whole idea of Day of the Dead series. It's going to be a series. Um, I just visited, um, you know, that graveyard, Boot Hill, in Virginia City. So that's what came to me when you were reading this. With mouths full of teeth and warm skin covering, the chilly air seeps into bones as they peer out from desolate eye sockets. I was like, that's so great. It's really good. Uh, I love the whole thing. Um, you know, Miss Vanishing Features, Tattered Burial Claws, Misleading Perceptions of Being Alive, They Fade into the Eternal Night. I love the whole poem. I, I just love it. Um, I don't have any real critique to give you. I like to read it again when I'm not taping this, but I think it's really super good. I think your poetry has really grown by leaps and bounds. It's awesome. Awesome. I love the images, fantastic images. And I was just down in Mexico, and there was a, a, a graveyard on a city dump, and it was just, it was still decorated from Day of the Dead when I was there. Beautiful. It's so I, I they did have a lot of colors, so I would put colors into this somehow, somewhere, mm -hmm. flowers point. and colors and all the things that decorate the graveyard as well as the, as the images around it, uh, of the creatures and the people and the dead all around it. Um, I had a lot of smiley faces. I, I, I just think this is a wonder, one of, one of your best poems. And I don't know if this will work or not, but I would suggest eliminating some of the excess words. Like I would say, I would take out gathered. Darkness is all they know. Envious of the living. Mouths full of teeth. Warm skin covering. Chilly air seeps into bones, peering out from desolate sockets. Okay. I just eliminated all the unnecessary, unnecessary words and made it sharper and crisper. And so, um, so I would do that. Just make it a little bit crisper. Add a little bit of the, the colorfulness of a graveyard at the day of the dead time. Uh, but other than that, I mean, your images are absolutely stunning. Well done. I like it too. I like the concept of doing a whole collection of this kind of poem. Um, blankets of gray lie with tranquility. I thought maybe blankets of gray lie tranquilly. Um, and I really, my favorite line is with mouths full of teeth and warm skin coverings. I think that's wonderful. I, I agree with Kathy. I think probably just take out a few of the extra buzz and the as days. I like the phrase exhausted silence drifts amongst the wings. That's yes. nice. And then um, by anyone living today, maybe just by the living. By the living. If they are no longer remembered by the living, if they ever exist. I love it. I like it. It's a great idea. <laughs> Um, where it says they fade, maybe just take out the three dots. Because of, yeah, it would, uh, because then it, it would, uh, Continue it, yeah, it would, the, the, uh, the lines would kind of slide together. Okay. Yeah, I really like it, Melissa. I mean, I'm no poetry critic, but, I mean, sounded great. I love the images and stuff, but I agree with everything that Kathy said. I think that would really add to it. I just had a couple of punctuation things and stuff I'll let you look at on the page, but I thought it was really good. I think the idea for the series is really great. So I'm looking forward to hearing more. Um, 
I agree. I really like it. I know a couple of people liked warm skin covering. I thought it was strange <laughs> sounding. So, I mean, you might just want to consider something like your own soft flesh or something else, but that's totally your choice. Um, I also really like exhausted silence strips among the loneliness. And then I just love the whole last, you know, stanza amidst vanishing features, tattered burial pods, misreading perception of being alive, what they seem to be eternal life. I think that's what it's so good. And then, you so that's it for me. I think it's awesome, Melissa. I I love the imagery of it. I love the how the dead are envious of the living, and I think you see here the day of the dead's being recognized. The dead as a whole, but the individuals are fading away, and that's what I'm seeing. And so I'm wondering, just a couple of things to to kind of tweak this to show. Um, I love this part where it says the chill air seeps into bones and they peer out from desolate eyes. I was thinking maybe scooting that up. Peer out from desolate eye sockets, envious of the living with mouths full of teeth and warm, soft skin. But the covering, I agree, covering what? I expected to see covering something. So if you just, I think Alana's suggestion is so warm, soft flesh or skin is great. But you see them with nothing and they're envious of this. And then you say exhausted silence, and that implies that they have a, a, a body and they get exhausted, maybe timeless or something like that, um, just to show that they don't feel exhaustion and, and things like that. And then here's what I love about this last part. I really, I love the tattered burial clause. It just shows that at one time they were loved by as individuals, and that's fading. And so I'm wondering, and this is just a personal, you know, if they are no longer remembered, well, the Day of the Dead is about remembering. Right. So what you're trying to focus on is if individuals are no longer remembered, did they ever exist? Okay. And so I'm just wondering, or are they only the dead? That. And also maybe making that last. That's just the idea. Now, so, so, and then did any, by living one, did they, it's kind of redundant. So, the misvanaging images and tattered burial cloths, they fade into her eternal night. If individuals are no longer remembered, did they ever exist? That kind of thing, or are they the dead, since you're Day of the Dead? Okay. But that's just suggestions. I mean, and then the immortals of the home, you've already shown this so eloquently that you don't need to say that. Okay. But I think it's a wonderful, like you're showing, you're showing such a powerful imagery here of them rising and dancing, and they're envious, but they're kind of in bliss, and they're kind of in oblivion, yet have a longing. And yet you show where well, they're being recognized as Day of the Dead, but they're being forgotten as individuals. And I love that idea. I really love what you're, you know, I'm just thinking if you pull it apart a little more to show it, you know, to, yeah. but I love it. I really love it. Make this one about the dead and the images around like you've got here. Because okay. yeah, those are so wonderful. And have a separate poem about people coming to actually remember yeah, I kinda, the dead. Because I they because, because I think that is an important part of the Day of the Dead is all the families go together in groups and put all kinds of tokens on top of the graves and so and parades and, and masses and things like that. So I think what what you can do is have a whole poem about people remembering, but then th this is separate of the images of, of the dead just floating around, maybe at a time before or after the actual day, because they're not, they know, they don't think they're being remembered at that time, but then on the actual day, they are remembered for a moment anyway, and then it's, then it's gone again. Okay, that, that, that's awesome, that's a good suggestion. Okay. Yeah, I know when I had got my tattoo, a lot of people were like, that is and I'm like yeah it's art I like it you know and so they just see it some people see it as like no it's voodoo and this I'm like, they remember their dead and so when I read that book I was like oh that's it's really nice how like you know even little babies they have the little small you know it's just you know and it's just beautiful to me I'm like that's neat you know it's not scary. Do you want to cool. show us your tattoo? No. <laughs> <laughs> right here in Panera Bread. Strip down, Mama. It's on her shoulder. A lot of cultures do remember the dead. You know? Yeah, it's a, it's a, because in, in China, I was there on the day of the Ancestors' Day, and they, they went out to the graveyard, and they would burn money on the tombs to, so they would have money in the afterlife of the individual ancestors. And I thought, this is, this is great. And it reminded me of Mexico.
those Day of the Dead. So, I mean, it's just different, totally different cultures, but doing essentially the same thing. And I well, think, I think that we, we, you know, on Memorial Day as a nation, we, you know, celebrate our dead, and, you know, our, we yes, remember. And right. so what's different, just we do it different. So I think this is a great collection idea. It is. I think yeah. it's wonderful. Great. Thank you. Thank you.